Yay! It's early. <laughs> so you were here last year, Mr. Mayor. Yes, I was. Is it your mayorship or Mr. Mayor? Oh, your... Ed is fine. I'm going to miss your mayorship. I, you know, I, before we start, I uh, want to note that it's 9-11. It's been 11 years, I think. And um, I, know that, um, I know that you were up early this morning. Can you tell us a little bit about how you sort of marked the day? Yes, it was. And again, I, I thank uh, TechCrunch for recognizing and uh, a moment of silence. Uh, 6.30 this morning, I joined uh, some 30 cadets at our fire station training center with Chief Hayes White and Police Chief Sir and the commissioners. And we read off all the names, 375 of them, the names of uh, the uh, victims of 9-11. And we done that for a purpose to recall them, what they did. Yeah. And then I had an opportunity to uh, recognize the cadets and all the officers and thank them and tell them how appreciative we are for them being the first responders and anything that would happen in the city. Yep. I, uh, I was in New York when that happened, and so it's always a, an odd day for me to think back to that time. So, um, Okay, on to some news. Um, you have a lot to talk about today, and we're going to try to keep it as organized as possible. You have some announcements, you have some policy discussions. Um, I think we should just start with, uh, you've... All right. I just love the fact, last time you were here on stage, I said that you'd only, your only office you'd ever run for was uh, class president of high school, in your That's high school. That's right. Now you've, you have two elections behind you, one's mayor as well. It's just, it's just amazing. You have another one in, how long are you mayor? You're mayor for four years? Four year term. Yeah, so you're in, in those, you have three more years? Yep. And, and then re-election. And you want to, and then you're going to get re -election. okay. And you want to get some stuff done. And some of that's around innovation. And you've called this the innovation capital of the world unabashedly and I've seen the banner up at the airport is there more to it than the banner or is that sort of you know you have oh a, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh gosh of course of course Tell me Mike. about your plan well when I was inaugurated in January uh, I had gone through a pretty intense few months of election went to every neighborhood in the city talked to technology companies and business world and I I kind of had a mission because out of that campaign and out of listening and being part of TechCrunch, and I want to thank everybody for being here as well because we've got international visitors online and physically here. It's a great conference for the city. Uh, I announced uh, a 17 point plan that included making sure that we stayed on top of being the innovation capital of the world. What does that mean? That yeah. means that we take advantage of the companies that are here, the technology companies that are here to help us improve our city. Uh, to help us find solutions to old problems, to create an innovative spirit in the public-private sector that we have. Are, are these some of the points now? or you Because or, you're going to talk about the 17 points, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that like five of them, or is that just still the preamble to the 17? I think it's a preamble. I mean, it's, it's really creating the spirit of the city to make sure we're okay. all on the same page and why we're doing it. Okay. Because here's the facts. 32,000 jobs created by 1,600 companies with an annual almost 30% growth for our city. Yeah. Now that's Just in facts. tech. Just in tech. Yeah. Now, when you recognize that for the city and what it means, we're well on our way. We're ahead of literally every major city in the state of California for recovery. Yeah. And it's being done by the innovators of our city. Also, what's the average salary on these tech jobs? Significantly God, high. higher than, yeah. They're very high. I think yeah. the, the smallest salary I ever saw was just 80, 90,000 a year. I mean, right. Good. So tell me about some of the 17 points. What's your favorite of the 17? Well, I've got several favorites. I mean, the first thing that I did was to make sure that I had the kind of uh, technology advice that I need. So we're the first city in the country to appoint in the mayor's office a chief innovative officer. Yep. Jay Nath, who is uh, behind the work here today. And uh, Jay is helping me cause a link that's never happened before with the technology companies. There are yeah. so many here, and I need to talk with them. In fact, yeah. he's given me great advice to make sure every Tuesday I do a tour of one of these companies. Oh, great. So I've been doing that religiously every single week yeah. for the last year since I've been mayor, and it's marvelous. It's, what, it's to understand what they're doing and, and so how they're doing it and make a connection. Every Tuesday you go to a tech company? It's Tech Tuesday visits, yeah. Who has the best sort of kitchen goodies of all the tech companies <laughs> you've seen? Oh, they, they all have, but yeah. you know, I, it, when, you, when you go to that Twitter rooftop, Twitter's Kitchen out of control. Oh, yeah. man. They, and they have yeah. the view of the, of the uh, 
uh, the dome of City Hall right yeah. there, it, it brings your heart to a little but, throb. But Zynga has... Get, GitHub actually has cupcakes and cookies, homemade. So that's and, cool. And they take you into the t-shirt closet. Zynga has an M&M bar, which is awesome. Oh, I, I got my full of ice cream on the, uh, at Zynga, so I, I, that, that was helpful. So, okay, so what are some of the other points? What's point number eight, for example? Point number eight is probably our improvesf.org. Uh, uh, that, that's a website where we invite, it's a, it's a platform when we invite the public to tell us what they need uh, to get improved in their neighborhood. And then we ask the tech companies to help us find the solutions for that. And that's how we keep engaged. That's how we bring technology right to the neighborhoods, is to allow people to suggest how we can improve You're the You're actually asking the, the population to tell you what's wrong. Absolutely. That's a dangerous game to play, I've found. Well, it's better than yeah. them coming to the mayor's office and telling me every day. Do they uh, do that? They, of course. People of just course, show up at the will. mayor's office? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They do that. And I'm out there on coffees, and when I visit, and when I visit the tech companies, <laughs> Every Tuesday, yeah, they, have they honor a little session for them. They usually give me about 15 minutes with the employees, okay. yeah. and I listen carefully to them because guess what? They the have employees are the too. talent. Yeah. And if I can satisfy them and they stay in the city, the tech companies will stay in the city. Yeah. Um, okay, what, any other points you want to talk about in the plan? Uh, well, we'll mention uh, in more details. S of City, that's our yeah. citizens' initiative for technology and innovation. That's kind of what I call the uh, technology chamber of commerce. And uh, we have over 300 companies now that are members. Uh, they are helping us figure out how to make sure that the companies are here yeah. comfortably, but yeah. also how we train the new workforce yeah. and continue this fantastic growth in employment with the technology companies. And, and these companies are paying. Oh, yeah. 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 Who are the most helpful companies have you found um, here? Oh, gosh, there's so many of them. I mean, uh, you know, I, I was, for example, Jawbone is one yeah. of the members, and they stepped up along with all of the members, all of yeah. the major members of city this summer to help me create over 5,000 jobs for kids. And some, and many child, of them were- Child labor? No, no, summer paid internships. Okay, not like six-year-olds building iPhones. No, 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 okay. these were high school and college yeah. uh, graduates. Okay. But they're all looking for jobs and they wanna be exposed to this wonderful world of technology. Okay. And so they picked them up, and a lot of that target was for disadvantaged, uh, kids in our city to expose them to That's how technology great. can help them. And yeah. now these kids who came through these summer jobs, well, they're thinking about their future. They're thinking about yeah. you know, getting through education but going on to the next step. They're not hanging out on the corners. They're part of the evolving success of the city. And okay. SF City led the effort to get tech companies to place these interns in their company. Yeah. And Ron, I want to get back to SF City in a minute. I, yeah. I want to give the mayor a chance to finish. I think he's on point two on the 17-point plan, but I want to get through that. But I want to talk a lot about SF City. It's interesting. I've got another program. It's called yeah. Tech SF. And that's uh, a program that grew out of working with SF City and with the, with the neighborhoods okay. that wanted these job trainings. It's taking advantage of some $8 million that the federal government gave us to make sure that we don't experience the digital divide that we had experienced a decade ago okay. with the bubble. And so that's aimed at working with City College, with the school district, with our neighborhood youth programs to evolve a training program that is uh, helped to be created by the tech companies themselves, put a curriculum together Great. that will allow them to be trained in the right skills so that when they come out of that training, they're capable of taking up those jobs that these tech companies are offering. So it's, it's key that the tech community generate entry-level jobs for San Francisco residents. And so right now, yeah. we have the top tech employers submitting a list to SF City yeah. of the entry-level jobs that they want to hire in the next year. Yeah. We're going to hand that to Ed Lee's team at Tech SF, they will create curriculum to specifically train for those entry level jobs that our tech companies will That's amazing. hire. Do you have, I have a joke in a minute, but do you have, are other mayors coming to you and asking, uh, you know, I mean, you, uh, how, do I, how do I help my own city? Absolutely, yeah. in fact, I'm, I'm a member of the U.S. Conference of Mayors, and San Francisco is a very prominent member. That sounds member. exciting. The U.S. Conference of Mayors <laughs> is, uh, is all the mayors from New York to Chicago yeah. to Boston to Los Angeles, we all get together uh, twice a year and we're exchanging stories of how we're trying to make our city successful. Yeah. 
And do you all talk at once? <laughs> it's like we, we usually super, do. Yeah, <laughs> we usually do. But this year, uh, they uh, listened to uh, what San Francisco was all about, yeah. and so they, uh, at our advice, they created a task force on technology and innovation for the rest of the mayors, and they made me the chair. So I get to chair that, I get to introduce all of the technology innovation that we're doing in San Francisco, offer examples to the rest of the cities around the country, and have them interact with us, and we're on to our third meeting, and it's, it's a great, it's virtual meetings as well as physical meetings. The mayors. The mayors, and yeah. they're excited about this because they know there's job creation at the end. By yeah. the way, the, the other mayors, when you go to their cities and you go to the yeah. airport, it's always Mayor XYZ welcomes you. Yeah. In San Francisco, it's small letters, Ed Lee welcomes you, and underneath that is the logos of 10 San Francisco tech companies, and it says, welcome to the innovation oh. capital of the world. Yeah, so this banner, you're getting a lot of mileage out of it. What are the 10 logos that are on the banner? Um, Salesforce, Riverbed, Twitter, Square, Zanga. How much do they have to pay to be on the banner? Z zero, zero so far. You know, I hear a lot about how you're helping the sort of the unwashed masses and people who like, you know, don't have the opportunity. But what are you doing for the billionaires of the city? You know, <laughs> the guys that you really, you know, aren't feeling any kind of love at all. Are you doing oh, any pro special we got a lot of love for going on. Well, one thing that we learned, and I learned this very clearly through uh, my interim year as yeah. mayor, and we talked about it last year as well. Yeah. We have a payroll tax that taxes job creation in the city. Yeah. And that was, you know, one of the most negative things that we could do when we're trying to do the opposite is create jobs. So in a discussion very intensely for the first year, uh, we made a commitment. I made a commitment with all of the other candidates that were running for mayor, David yeah. Chu and John Avalos. We agreed, and we got that consensus yeah. together just recently to get rid of the payroll tax and, and that have a gross receipt tax. It helps everybody yeah. have a fair tax system yeah. so that we're incentivizing job creation. Yeah. It's, uh, it's called Proposition E, yeah. uh, and we all want to vote yes on E because yes on E reduces the payroll tax, it switches the tax to a gross receipts tax and saves tech companies millions of dollars yeah. so that they can go take that money and create new okay. jobs. So that helps the billionaires this, and it also helps people who want jobs. Well, no, no, it, helps it, also, helps helps it also helps every small business in San Francisco. It helps everybody. Who's against well, it? Uh, it's those crazy, what are they called, the Board of Supervisors? The no, 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 we got a unanimous vote from the unanimous. Board of Supervisors. Unanimous. Oh, they're scared of you now. They're not. The board yeah, is in yeah. agreement with the mayor. Job creation and jobs, job, I mean, you look, no matter what because convention you went to the last few weeks, whether it's Democratic yeah. or Republican, right. the theme was the same theme. Yep. We've got to get this country going. We've got to create jobs. We've got to do it the right way. We've got to innovate our ways to solution. And yeah. this is what the Board of Supervisors and I but totally agree But they're a bunch to. of communists. I mean, you actually have them. I mean, a year ago, they were, they, were, they were piping up about this, right? I mean, if they're actually on your side, that means this stuff's actually working. I mean, or, or well, Ed you've Lee, got something on it. Ed Lee called, like, five meetings in City Hall, and around the table were the labor unions. And they're going for this. Some of the supervisors. And he built a consensus. It took six months. But, uh, but, it, but it happened. The biggest yeah. gift that the tech community in San Francisco today can ever give San Francisco is pro passing Prop E, yeah. which creates jobs in San Francisco and helps small business. It's the okay. longest legacy gift we can give, and that's why I'm, okay. working, that's why I'm working so hard on it. Yeah. A hundred years from now, uh, San Francisco will continue to be the innovation capital of the world because we made these concessions. Okay. I'm not too concerned with 100 years from now, but yeah, I mean, that's awesome. I'm concerned with five, five years, years from now. So when, let's go yeah. to SF City for a second. I, I know that some company, a lot of companies have benefited from the payroll tax changes that have happened. Not all of them seem to be giving back as much. What, tell me, the, let's focus on the positive. Who's really, really, who's really helping to give back and, and giving you the time and money you need to make these things work. Let's call well, them out for, you know, well, for doing well. Well, well funny enough, it's yeah. the same companies that are, that are on the sign at the airport. All of them? Well, most of them. Okay, so which ones aren't but, helping out so much? But, but 
<laughs> no, but I mean, they're taking the benefit of, of, I mean, it was a, you know, tough road to get, you know, that lower their payroll taxes and, and the stock option changes. So which ones are giving back and which aren't? Well, Ed Lee will continue to build the consensus until it gets to 100 percent. But, but the, the companies participating yeah. are, the, are the ones I called out earlier. Yeah. Uh, uh, Salesforce, Riverbed, Autodesk, Zanga, Square, uh, Twitter, yeah. AT&T AT yeah. has been awesome. How about AOL? Because they have a lot of assets here too. Are they helping? Uh, AOL's headquartered in Palo Alto. They, have, they ha haven't moved here yet. Okay. Okay, um, also, what else are you doing? October, something's happening in October. Oh yeah, so uh, since we have benefited as a city so much, and since we're like the third lowest unemployment rate in California because of the technology companies that are here, we wanted to celebrate that, we want to get the word out, so yeah. we've declared the month of October to be Innovation Month in awesome. San Francisco. And that Innovation Month is fabulous because it'll allow us to demonstrate all of the different companies uh, that are going on here. In fact, yeah. we have uh, a website that I want to drive everybody to that will explain and, and list all of the activities for Innovation Month, and that is InnovateSF.com. If you go to that website, InnovateSF.com, you'll learn all of the activities. Uh, we have joined with uh, John Battelle, uh, uh, Web 2.0 Summit Team, yeah. to. Uh, uh, do an open co uh, SF, an ability to kind of have these meetings and these conferences in a festival kind of way throughout yeah. the month. And think so of it as, think of open co SF as open house in tech in San Francisco. Uh, people will sign up on the website and they'll get to go to open house at any tech company. We're signing up probably. 40 or 50 companies. Anyone can walk into like Zynga if they, if they approve and then... You have to sign up because yeah. we can't have too many people. Okay. But it's a way of people in San Francisco... It's a festival. ...to go yeah. visit the actual That's company. That's great. Yeah. No way I would want, not that I have anything to do with TechCrunch anymore, but there's no way I'd want people want, randomly wandering into TechCrunch, but, <laughs> but I guess these bigger companies can handle that, so that's great. Yeah, it's a great, yeah. it's a great open house, uh, but to kick it off, uh, we start, we, we've got a startup map that we're launching. Yeah, oh, we today. have a startup map. Yeah. And we have a yeah. thing to, sh to, yeah, your chief innovation officer, Jay, is backstage and he's going to show us something. Yep. I don't, you gotta, you're going to have to explain what this is exactly. Well, the startup map that's supposed to appear here in a, in a minute. There it is. Is interactive map that uh, shows some, all of our, some 800 uh, plus startup companies in San Francisco where they're located information about them. And we're launching this for the public to understand, just like we do in one of our greatest uh, industries like uh, tourism in the city, to locate places where people know it's happening here and where it's happening and where you could visit and who's signed up for it. So this is on SF Tech, uh, InnovateSF.com. InnovateSF.com. And this right. is all crunch-based data, is that right? It's crunch-based API. and. Uh, we were able to create this map uh, with the collaboration of the uh, Gray Area Foundation for the Arts. Great. And this is the result. GAFTA. GAFTA. The what? The what is it? GAFTA. That stands for GAFTA. Okay. Well, that's exciting. Okay. What else you got? <laughs> well, in addition to this, uh, in addition to all the things that we have, uh, we're also announcing that in two, 2013, we're going to be partnering with uh, Code for America, the city of San Francisco, and we're going to be working with Jen Palka and her team to kind of disrupt the way we do things in the city so that we can make more improvements. Uh, I also uh, went to the New Me Accelerator, which is diversity leadership in the technology world, try to help some of the new entrepreneurs out there and get success. Somebody, yeah. uh, that was wonderful to see as well because that brings more people in. We've got a dialogue in the city going on about the shared economy, the new economy where, yeah. where we're sharing things rather than, and we're kind of trumping ownership and making access to be the major thing rather than ownership. That's exciting to me. That's how the, in fact, you know, I have to say, I, I was really enthralled yesterday when Jack Dorsey said, you know, it's, it, it's about disrupt, but it's maybe more about the revolutionary approach that we're doing with yeah. government, with social services, with the way we communicate. I want that revolution. I'm, I'm a young guy too, and I remember 
we used to use the word revolution. I want to use it in a technology context. We can really change things and sustain it with technology. You were probably smoking pot when you were using it back then, though, right? <laughs> you know, no, I didn't inhale. That. Yeah. <laughs> revolution. Um, OK. There's a lot of stuff up here. I think the key things right now to, to know is there's a big party next month. It's, it's, innovate, it's Innovate Month next month. Huge open house with all the tech companies. Go to innovatesf.com, and you can check them out. You can sign up. You can go to see them. I assume that a lot of times they'll be thinking about recruiting people that roll through on those things as well. So that sounds like a lot of fun. And then there's the SF City, which is separate. And this is more, it seems like it's more of a program to get the big and small tech companies actively participating in creating new jobs at all levels, from entry level on up. Is that right? That's yes. Right. Yeah. Um, if, if you look at SF City, the jobs initiative uh, is one yeah. of the most important. But SF City actually has six pillars. OK. Uh, jobs, which we've talked about, public safety, which is a big issue. Uh, we are leading the effort to put tablets in the hands of SFPD in the patrol cars and on the streets so they don't spend 40% of the time in the police station writing reports, which is the case today. And Greg Sur is leading that yeah. revolution. Um, uh, Muni, uh, if, if you guys read the Chronicle yesterday, page one, uh, SF City is sponsoring a program with Muni called Smart Muni, uh, which allows real-time access to all of the bus schedules. When the bus gets off schedule in real time, it alerts Muni that the bus is off schedule and let's deploy the workforce to get it back on schedule That's and awesome. coordinates all that. That came out of a hackathon, by the way. Yeah. So, so this hackathon was held a year ago, and SF City grabbed onto that project, funded yeah. it, and we're transitioning it uh, into Muni uh, as we speak. In the education area, uh, we supported the summer jobs efforts, yeah. got the tech companies to, to place uh, the interns. Uh, we're supporting the opening of College Track in the Bayview, uh, which launches next week. Uh, we donate philanthropically to causes around the city that we believe in. Yep. And then on policy, we're very focused on Proposition E, yeah. uh, since this will have the biggest long term. You're for Prop E or against Prop E? Yes on Prop yes E. Yes on Prop E. Yeah. Okay. And it, I don't want to say who's registered to vote. Who's registered to vote? Okay. Oh. Right, These are not Please vote right. yes on E. Have... If you are not registered to vote, please go to the SF City booth, number 29. It's on the right yeah. side as you walk out of the room, and register to vote. Yeah. And then vote no on Prop E. I mean, vote yes on Prop E. No yes. more taxes. We don't, yes. yeah, yes. no taxes yes. are bad. Now, there is something we want you to vote no on. Uh, no on the Hetch Hetchy uh, proposition, which is F. So no on F. Hey, you've gone off Hetch notes. Isn't Hetch that Hetchy, a dam? Hetch Hetchy is an engineering marvel, and uh, some people want to mess with that, and we're saying don't mess with Hetch Hetchy. You don't, don't drain Hetch Hetchy, which is the best water in the world. Yeah. So who, keep who Hetch likes Hetchy? our water? Oh. Right. So All keep right. Hetch Hetchy, no taxes. Got that. Ron, I have a quick question for you in the last minute. You have this new venture fund that uh, somebody wrote about, TechCrunch, or one of the other sites. Um, you could have raised a much bigger fund. Why, why didn't you? Well, number one, it's not my fund. Uh, I'm the largest investor You're in the SB guy Angel. The guy and David, yeah. Lee, David Lee and his team yeah. are the, the managers of the fund. But yes, we, we could have said, let's raise a bigger fund. Uh, but bigger isn't always better. Uh, starting a company costs less. So we want to stick to our knitting and invest 100 to 200,000 per company, raise like a $30 million fund. The other benefit is you can pay the fund back quicker. If you have a $2 billion fund, right. you've got to have five Googles or Facebooks. Which is hard. Yeah. Uh, in a $30 million fund, you, know, you, you kind of only need one. Uh, but, but, but the SV brand continues only to get better because we're 
we're relentless about you know a couple years ago you were focused on investing now you are focused on working with the mayor and the mayor's office and helping the city There's something well tech and investing and helping san francisco all go in, hand in hand now yeah, but something shifted is it this man it, because he's i mean I make, I, sorry, I make fun of you sometimes, just, but I, I love what you're doing. I hate and to say it. You're it's, everywhere, and you're helping everyone, and it's actually really awesome. But it's not, it's not Ed Lee. Right. It's not. It's the migration of tech companies to San Francisco. When Pinterest moved to San Francisco yeah. a month ago, that just was another reminder of the migration of tech companies to NSF urban is areas. not doing things to screw and it up Ed, 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 yeah. Ed Lee likes what he sees, wants to create jobs and prosperity, and is helping us any way he can. Michael, I, I'm excited for this city. Yeah. I mean, the, the technology companies that are moving in are not just moving in for their own selves. They're also helping me redo a whole Central Market Street. You should see the enlivenedness. Market? Market Street, that used to be our Skid Row. It still now, is. Now you see thousands of units <laughs> being built. No, it's changing. You have, to, you have to go down to where Twitter and all the congregation of companies are up. Small businesses are located there. It's right. changing before our very eyes. Uh, the spirit of the city is strong. Uh, I, again, I mock yeah. a little bit, but it, I do see a change. And, and you guys are actually, these programs, well, named, there's a lot of crazy names and websites. Some really cool stuff going on. So I just really want to say thank you on behalf of the community. Right. for paying attention to us. Well, thank, thank you, you very to much. TechCrunch for holding it here in San Francisco. Thanks. Thank you.